Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yah, He is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah, on this Tuesday, we are giving Him all the glory, the Kembo, hallelujah. Kembo means glory, Kembo, Kembo, all the glory to the Most High, Yah. So hallelujah, which is the highest praise, we praise Him. Let's open up with a song of praise. This song I used to sing back in the day. I don't know who the original artist is of the song. So let's just open up. The song says, welcome into this place. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit, the Mwanda, which is the Mwanda, I mean, means Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, which is, I believe, in the Kikongo language, which is the language of Congo, the kingdom of Congo, a language of our forefathers of that represents a part of the 12 tribes hallelujah the chosen people hallelujah the called out ones hallelujah so the song says welcome into this place we want the holy spirit to come in hallelujah and be with us whatever we do we do it unto the most high we need his presence to be with us hallelujah because if he's with us then we can make it we can make it through anything we're passing through hallelujah the song says Welcome into this place. Welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we live. As I offer up this praise unto your name, welcome into this place, welcome into this bro broken vessel, you desire to abide in the praises of your people. So I lift my hands, as I lift my heart, as I offer up this praise unto your name. As I offer up my praise unto I offer up my praise unto your name, your name. Hallelujah. Welcome. Welcome. Hallelujah. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. In uh, Twi language, Twi, in uh, a Ghanaian language, uh, welcome means aquaba. Aquaba, Holy Spirit. Aquaba, Holy Spirit. Aquaba, Holy Spirit. You are welcome. Hey! You are welcome. You are welcome. Hallelujah. You are welcome. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Oh, praise to the Most High. Yeah. So, yes, as we are passing through this season of the awakening, uh, that uh, the Most High is opening up our minds, our hearts, our understanding, our spirits to wake up to who we are and to accept uh, that we are the chosen people of the most high yeah we are waking up as we are waking up many of us are coming back home to the motherland uh, and some of us are uh, becoming a more um, acclimated to the culture so some of us are learning uh, African languages as Twi is a uh, Ghanaian language Kikongo is a language of Congo and uh, another language, um, a Nigerian language, uh, I believe the three major languages are Ibu, Hausa, and Yoruba. And uh, a couple words I know in Ibu is Ebube, Cheneke, Hey! Hallelujah, which means God, the names that they call God. Hallelujah. So as we are coming back to our culture, to our heritage, we are. Um, coming into our, our languages, coming back to the languages, the native language of, of the motherland. And many of us are desiring 
to learn uh, African languages. So it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time that we are living and we give the most high all praise that he has allowed this to happen in our, in our lifetime. We are giving him glory, hallelujah, in our lifetime, hallelujah. We are so grateful to be a part of this great awakening, hallelujah. He's waking us up, he's waking us up, hallelujah, to this, this great uh, um, um, knowledge the great uh, manifestation of who we are. The prophecies are coming to pass that the Most High promised that he would gather his people from the four corners of the earth and he would bring us back to the land and that the land again would be blessed, that the curses would be lifted, hallelujah. So we are praising the Most High that we are, we know we're still going through troubles. We are going through troubles. That's why the last, uh, the last, um, uh, video that I did, the last message was don't give up. So no matter what we're going through, yes, we're still under oppression. We're still under Babylonian systems, you know, where we are, uh, you know, we are oppressed. <laughs> Bottom line is we are oppressed. There's no better way to say it than we are oppressed. So we're living, uh, trying to live out the commandments, trying to do what the Most High says and keeping his commandments, his statutes, judgments, keeping his word. And it's challenging because we are living in uh, nations that don't abide by the commandments of the Most High. So it is becoming more and more difficult for us. Yes, it is great that we are waking up. It is great, it is wonderful, it is amazing, it is awesome. But at the same time, we are passing through troubles because the enemy wants to oppress us, the enemy wants to destroy the people of Yah as we are waking up because he you know, knows that his time is limited, mm -hmm. that it has an expiration date. Huh? So therefore he wants to do all the damage that he can do in the time that he is allotted to do it so that uh, those who are alive can be discouraged by the, all the destruction that we're seeing. So we can be so traumatized that we are not able to maintain our faith and continue in this walk to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. But may we continue in this walk with courage and hope and the strength of the Most High that we can make it, hallelujah, through these battles. The Most High is with us. He's on our side. He is great. He is mighty. He's mightier than any nation, mightier than any system, hallelujah. He's mightier than any storm, than any battle, than any challenges, than any circumstances, hallelujah. Therefore, we can hold on and we can be strengthened. So in this message today, I feel the Holy Spirit is leading me to the book of Exodus, uh, the 23rd chapter and verses 22 to 26. I will read at verse 22 starting. Uh, this is the NIV. If you listen, hmm, listen all, if you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. That's just verse 22. So our last message was don't give up from Luke 18, 1 through 8. The widow is crying out. She's looking for mercy because she's a widow and she's being oppressed. She's looking for justice as we are looking for justice. So as we are crying out, asking the Most High to listen to us, the Most High is also asking us to listen to him. You see? So it goes both ways. We are crying out, please help us, Father. Please deliver us. Please fight our battles. Please give us victory over our enemies. But the Most High is saying, mm, yes. I will do it, my children. I will do it. I will keep my promises. But there is something that we must do. So we have a responsibility. We have, uh, there is a prerequisite, if you will. It's not just give me, give me. I want, I want, do this for me. It's like, what, what are we required? We are required to obey the Most High. It doesn't come. Our deliverance does not come without our obedience. We must be obedient to the Most High. So while we're asking the Most High to listen to us, the Most High is asking us to listen to him. Hallelujah. So that was verse 22. If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. So in order for us to get the deliverance that we're seeking, the justice that we're seeking, we must be in obedience to the Most High. Verse 23. My angel will go ahead of you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hibites, and Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. I will wipe them out, the Most High is saying. So enemies that are our enemies, that are oppressing us, that are opposing us, that are fighting against us, the Most High will fight against them. So we don't have to worry. He is with us. He is on our side. Hallelujah.